equanimity. On our prereq, uh, seven simplifying rational expressions. We're on example four now in trig. And we're looking at this one. Um, so when you have division here and you're dealing with fractions and division, even if they aren't crazy looking like this thing and they're just regular old fractions, what are you supposed to do? Well, whenever you have fractions and division, you're supposed to flip it and multiply by that reciprocal. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do here. You multiply by the reciprocal, so we're going to flip that second fraction. And this is what we're looking at right now. This right here. So our big concern here now is factoring. That's our big concern. So we want to factor both the top and the bottom. This can't be factored. This can't be factored. This can be factored. So let's factor that. That's what we're basically looking at right now. So to factor the rest of that top, I'm going to take an x out of both those. So I take an x out of both those. Take an x out of both those. And I'm left with an x times 2x minus 3. And I also have that x plus 2 there on top. So there's my top. The bottom can be factored because this is a difference of squares down here as well. That 4 can be written as 2 squared. So actually I have an x minus 2 and an x plus 2. I also still have that 2x minus 3. So the top is all of that. And we just said we have an x minus 2, an x plus 2, and the 2x minus 3. So the point is... Now I can see a whole bunch of stuff that I need to cross out. This 2x minus 3 I can cross out. This x plus 2 I can cross out. And all I have left is that x on top and that x minus 2 on the bottom, which happens to be your final answer. All right, so now this is just multiplying, so all you have to do is simply just multiply. There is, you know no flipping or anything else involved except if you can factor you got to factor so I push them together and these are what I have now but nothing can cross out yet so I need to factor so I'm going to start by factoring the top and by doing so this is just a quadratic equation so what two numbers multiply to give you the 9 that add to give you a negative 6 well that happens to be negative 3 and negative 3 right because negative 3 times negative 3 is 9 Negative 3 plus negative 3 is negative 6. So this turns into x minus 3 and x minus 3. I also have a 2x minus 2, which I can divide a 2 out of both those. And I'm left with 2, which I pulled out, and an x minus 1 on the inside. So there is my top. On the bottom, I realize that this can't be factored, but this can. This is a difference of squares. This one normally fools people because you see this... 1, and you're like, well, nothing squared can give you 1. Well, that's where you're wrong. Yes, 1 squared is 1, which means, yes, this is a difference of squares. You can simplify this by making it x minus 1 and x plus 1, because 1 squared will give you 1. So really, this is your factors. Your bottom is x minus 1, x plus 1, and you still have that x minus 3, and you already factored the top. So now you cross out anything that is on the top and the bottom. Well, I have an x minus 3 on both the top and the bottom. I have an x minus 1 on the top and the bottom. So all I have left is that 2 times the x minus 3. And I have the x plus 1 there as well, left over. And if you wanted to distribute that through, I guess you could, but it's not going to make any difference. Did you eat a lot of paint chips when you were a kid? So, some indifference of rational expressions. You want to factor, if possible, that's your very first step you want to do when you're simplifying these. And then you want to find common denominators as well. That's the whole point. See what common denominators are there. You can't push anything together. And then combine all your like terms to get your answer.